If you have a problem with flies on your farm, this is the video for you. In this video, we'll be looking at designing a integrated pest management for flies. We'll be looking at the life cycle of flies and the environment they grow in so that we can develop a couple of uh, control methods to getting the population numbers down. So in front of me, we have a couple of tools that we'll be using uh, for that. And you'll find out in this video uh, what they are used for. And that is including a cultural control, biological control, and a physical control. So the best place to start when designing an integrated pest management is with the life cycle of uh, your pest. So for this example, we're using uh, flies. So we're going to develop a integrated pest management for flies. Because uh, recently here we're having a fly problem. Um, and I think it's uh, really worthwhile talking about flies because everyone hates flies. So to start the uh, life cycle, you have the adult fly. They're going to lay uh, their eggs in um, kind of just warm, moist, uh, organic matter. Then these eggs are going to hatch into larvae. They're going to consume as organic matter as feed. They're going to grow, turn into pupa, which is kind of like a cocoon kind of thing. Um, and the uh, larvae then develop into the fly, so they develop the... Um, the wings and the antenna and then they um, hatch out of that and turn into the adult fly and start the life cycle again. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to have a look at this life cycle, we're going to have a look at different uh, features of, the, of it, look at the different weaknesses at different stages and um, think about different ways we can attack these points. So the first one, the adult fly, um, now we probably already um, know what we can do about this, we can set traps, so we can have uh, sticky traps or uh, fly traps. Um, now this is an example of physical, a physical um, control method to control the adult flies. So what this will do, this will just reduce the number um, of adult flies and consequently we're going to reduce the amount of eggs produced. But as we know uh, with integrated pest management we want multiple different attack angles. So now let's have a look at the way we can uh, tackle eggs. So the eggs are only laying in um, really kind of warm, moist um, material. It's only really used for feed for the larvae. So some example of this um, is bedding, um, so animal bedding, um, manure, rotting um, carcasses or fruit, as well as garbage. So if we, if, if that is the material that they're um, laying the eggs into, if we remove that, they have nothing uh, to lay their eggs in. And so that is our next um, our strategy. We're going to clean up pretty much uh, any breeding material. Now this is an example of a cultural practice uh, that we can do and that is cleaning up uh, or changing the environment to prevent them from breeding. Um, and for this example we're cleaning up the uh, breeding material and preventing eggs being laid. So now we have uh, less flies which are laying less eggs because there's going to be less uh, material they can uh, breed it in. Now, just removing the breeding material, we're going to be reducing the amount of larvae because um, if they can't eat anything and there's nothing for uh, for them to grow on, um, they're not going to survive. Lastly, we've got our pupa. Now, um, we what we can do with this is we can introduce um, parasitic wasps. Now, biological controls are a great um, control method for controlling uh, lots of different pests. So not just flies, but um, a lot of different other pests, such as um, thrips and aphids. And if you're in Australia, Bugs for Bugs are a great company uh, that supply these biological controls. They've um, donated us some flies after hearing that we've had a big fly problem. Um, and so um, we're making some videos on how effective these are. But from other um, our reports and, and research articles uh, in um, cattle feedlots, they found a 30% uh, reduction in these flies. So just from one um, control method, to, such as parasitic wasps, they've reduced the fly population by 30%. And then with these other uh, control methods, that would also uh, reduce it. So biological controls, great passive um, control. Once you introduce them, they're pretty uh, self-sustaining once they're established. Highly recommend checking them out. Uh, if you're in Australia and if you have any pests. So what these particular parasites do to the flies is that they come along, um, the wasp lays uh, her eggs into the pupa um, and then pretty much those wasp eggs will uh, hatch and then it will eat the fly out um, of this cocoon. So then um, the pretty much it kills the, the fly, the wasp will then emerge 
um, to find another pupa and pretty much repeat its own life cycle. Now, if you're interested in getting any of these biological controls for um, from Bugs for Bugs, so what they'll do is they'll send out um, some of these bags. Now, each bag uh, contains these pupa, but they have the uh, parasites in them. And so, um, what I've done, well, we'll see it in the next clip, um, but they will, uh, we put them in a, a little uh, enclosure which they can hatch and then emerge from, and that just protects them from uh, the elements and predators, but they emerge from this and then go find more pupa to then lay their eggs into. And so what we've done is we've reduced the adult flies, we've reduced the eggs, and we've also pr uh, reduced the amount of pupa. So the overall system isn't just relying on one um, control to reduce the flies, now this is really important because say we are only using um, traps. We're only using traps to uh, control adult flies. The problem with this is that even if we get rid of 90% of these adult flies, one fly can lay 100 or so eggs. So if we just get one adult fly through and they lay 100 eggs, well then we, um, if, if they all survive, then we have a problem still with these adult flies. They're, they're going to be continuing to reproduce. But say we can get rid of 50% of these flies uh, in the adult stage, we can get rid of, um, from there we can get rid of 50% of the eggs, and then from that we can get rid of 50% of that. And by doing that, we've reduced the overall population by 87.5%. Now compare this to just the traps by itself, even if they got rid of majority of the adult flies, they're going to um, reproduce back to the number of um, adult flies because there's enough feeding material for that. So using integrated pest management, um, we can reduce each stage and then overall we're going to reduce the overall population. In this one, we've used physical controls, so the traps, uh, cultural, so cleaning up the breed material, and biological controls, uh, such as parasitic wasps. Now what we could do um, as well as this is introduce a chemical control, such as spraying uh, the flies or the larvae. Um, that we could do that if we wanted a really quick uh, reduction in the population. However, we're not really getting rid of the problem. The problem with this is not cleaning up um, so bedding material for us. The, um, our potty casts live um, in an open shed. And so we need to be moving out the bedding material uh, more often, letting it dry uh, between the uh, batches of potty casts so that we're, we're not building up this bedding material that can be a host for uh, the fly eggs. And so the real problem is the um, not cleaning up that breeding material. However, integrating all of this will help the overall reduction in the population. And then again, we can also apply the chemical control over the top of that. However, this will sustain a long-term solution um, and really reduce and keep that population down so it's a manageable, manageable level um, and we're not really being bothered by flies. So that is the theory of what we're going to be doing. Now we'll be uh, going out and implementing these strategies. All right, so there you have it. That is how we can um, design and implement a integrated pest management for flies. I hope you really got a lot out of this video and you'll be able to take this away to your own situations, maybe change um, the pest from flies to say thrips and, and start thinking about different ways we can control um, these pests and different approach angles to reducing their numbers. If you are thinking about um, getting some biological controls uh, for your integrated pest management, make sure to get in contact with Bugs for Bugs. I will include their website link uh, in the description of this video. But they have a range of different biological controls, pretty much covering a lot of the most common pests. Um, so I highly recommend checking that out. And they're a great uh, addition to a um, holistic integrated pest management. Thank you very much again for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or uh, suggestions on uh, what we can um, do better in our videos or um, content you'd like to see, make sure to leave a comment. Uh, my name is Till Simmons and this is Agriculture Explained by Agrisol.